Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be New Moon in Pisces Read for the Collective Sign of Pisces. It's your guys' new moon. We're still in the energy of this new moon, at least for a couple more days. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get to your guys' read. There will be an extended to the read. Um, if you're interested in the extended, um, the link is in the description box down below. It'll lead you to my Patreon page, which is $5. It's just one tier. It's $5 a month. Um, you get access to all the extended plus um, articles on Twin Flame, um, other articles on um, spiritual work, stuff like that. So, if you like the content of my channel, absolutely like and subscribe. Click the notification bell um, so you can be notified whenever I upload another video. So, before we get into the details of the read, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Pisces. For this, their new moon in Pisces. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use the Moonology deck by Yasmin Boland. Then the Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn. And then we'll pull tarot from the Mystical Moments. Um, tarot of Mystical Moments by Katrin Weld Stein. A little more shuffle. And then in the extended, I'll pull a few more tarot, use a couple more oracle card decks. Okay, here we go. For Pisces, this is your new moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. And one more. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Alright. What's going on, Pisces? So this looks like... Almost like the Cancer, Cancerian um, new moon read. And the Scorpio new moon read. For some reason, the water signs... It's like they were being encouraged to keep pushing forward their desired outcome is on its way just keep focused on the task at hand okay so here we go valiant courage take action with passion taking shelter the answers are within this looks like Scorpio read and one more Voyage of the heart. Love th flows through you and to you. Okay. So, whatever you are heading toward. And you could be, you could feel like you're in this storm right now. But, I feel like it's going to be ending. And in the energy of this new moon, like I said, it's going to continue for several days. That's the reason... The timestamp, even though I got to you guys last, I'm so sorry. Um, even though the timestamp says March 13th, you're still in the energy of that new moon. So one more shuffle, we'll pull some tarot and get deeper into this. Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. Are you off balance? There we go. Hierophant. Page of Cups and King of Sword or King of Wands, Divine Feminine version. Emperor, another Divine Feminine version of the card. And there's the other King of Wands. Four of Pentacles. The world and King of Swords. Okay, here we go. So, Three of Swords. Disappointment. This is disappointment. Heartbreak. Ten of Wands is carrying the burden. Okay, Ten of Wands is a lot of words under the bridge. And it's so much so that it's carrying the burden of them. Like it's this heavy burden. But it closes out that cycle and begins another cycle. This is really... Um, Asking you to release all of those, like the burden of the conversation. Because when it comes to heartbreak and disappointment, we don't rehearse it in our heart. We rehearse the situation in our head. 
This is where you hold all of those conversations. You rehearse it over and over again, mentally. Then you got the Hierophant. This is, I always see this card as Catalyst for Change. It's the Major Arcana, number five, which means change. Um, but Catalyst for Change is, you're going to, this is really going to someone that you could trust spiritually and seeking their counsel and, um, you know, following through with it and bringing about this change to to ease this not even ease it i feel like it's to stop the cycle of this continually happening because whoever this is with like there's a cycle with this and you're breaking the cycle and freeing yourself and i feel like that's the goal like this is um this is the ultimate goal is to really break that cycle completely and to start a new cycle and I feel like with going to the Hierophant whoever this Hierophant is in your life that this is happening then you got page of cups which shows up right under this card voyage of the heart and I like how they look alike in the cards page of cups is that little message of love coming in this could be from someone that has those feelings towards you but the message could be hey what's going on i haven't heard from you in a while that's that little message so in this row that i see you got a win-win outcome is forecast okay that's the first one voyage of the heart which is the second one then you got page of cups see that where they look alike then at the end to round that line off is the world this is about a relationship coming in it could be a reconnection i feel like it is but everything that you're doing now is setting the stage for that because this other person's energy has put you in this storm and the way to ride out a storm is to get in the center of it and allow the storm to go around you when you set in the center the storm will speak to you and will actually give you lessons and will tell you the lessons and will, um, it's like allowing your shadows to speak to you. So ride the storm out from the center. And when you ride it out from the center, allow it to speak to you and learn the lessons you need to learn. That's the way you can really complete this cycle with this old energy. And when you listen to um, everything that the storm has to tell you, you can then apply it and move on. And there's growth in this deep level of wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge, applied knowledge. That's what wisdom is. Then you got King of Swords or King of Wands, the Emperor, and I'll explain these two cards and King of Wands. Now, I guess I have to explain. In the tarot deck, Mystical Moments, you have the Divine Feminine version of the Divine Masculine card. When I see this card, there's many, and I kept them in. You have the choice of taking them out, and I feel like as a whole, they deserve to be kept in there. And then when I started really reading them that way, there's a whole new profound level of the read that comes from it. When I see this card, this is like having King and Queen of Wands. And the King of Wands is Aries energy, and that's this card. They are a talker business salesman that's aries sagittarius is the ones that will tell it like it is tell it straight give you the truth and have a grace around it so this i feel like is the energy that you're in because and i feel like this person this love coming in we're talking about this line i feel like when this happens Initially, you're not really going to be in the, you're going to be in the mood to talk, but it's going to be like, not to where it's, you're going to tell them the truth. And it may seem harsh because fire signs do that, but it's also going to be a level of 
the truth had to come like it you had to come to the place where you could speak your truth in this when i see this card it's like speaking your truth and it's not it's not to where you're hurting anyone it's not being harsh about it but it's the king and queen of wands together it's like not only speaking your truth but selling your truth like making your truth understood and this is what you're going to end up doing to this person now, you got the Divine Feminine version of the Emperor. The Emperor is the embodiment of all four kings. When I see this card, I interpret it in many different ways. And when I see it here, it's like you standing in your power. But I feel like this is the energy of this person coming in. This is their energy. Now, the Emperor, the Divine Masculine, gives. Divine Feminine receives. This person, that's this Emperor energy that you're going to be, uh, I wouldn't say short with, because the King of Wands also, it's that the King of Wands, the Aries energy has that pull to it. Like you're, it's a magnetic thing that Aries has. Sagittarians are the ones that'll bump you out of the way. Like, if they think you're up to somebody and something, they'll cut you off. At the same time, there's going to be like this, what do you want? I'm listening, that type of thing, because it's going to be almost like you're putting them hands off. Like, there's going to be a block, but you're listening, that type of thing. So this person, this energy, and I know it sounds... This energy, this person, the energy of the person that's sending you this message, this emperor, but this divine feminine um, emperor, um, they're giving, but at the same time, they're taking in everything that you're giving to them, this passion, but they're, it's like they're giving you space, like they're saving space for you, because this card alone, and I feel like this is their energy. It's almost like Emperor and Empress all rolled into one. Emperor is Father of the Tarot. Empress is Mother of the Tarot. The Divine Feminine is Nurturing, Mother, Holds Space. Um, divine Masculine, Giver, Guide, Protector, Doer. So this message is going out and they're giving their truth at the same time they will respond to this passion from you by holding space and giving you a minute. Because I think they kind of have the indication that something else is going on here. Because you're getting pulled out of this energy. Then you go from here to King of Wands. And I feel like this is your energy. Here you got the King of Wands again. Now, King of Wands, like I said, sociable. It's that magnetic. Now, they're going to stand and not move. This person. They are. They're going to give you a minute. They're going to stand there and they're going to listen. When they listen, they're going to hold space for you. And then this is going to bring... This, you see the red of the Divine Feminine version of that card? That is very defensive. Not defensive, but can be defensive. Telling the truth. Like, telling the truth. Period. It's your truth. You accept it. Like, it's telling it. Then, it's almost like you downshift. And it, what they're taking from this passion and this, like... It's almost like you want to snap at them. Because immediately, you're not going to take this at face value and say, Oh, great. That's fantastic. That's not the way you're doing it. This red is like, stay away. Stop sign type of thing. But their reaction to this is going to be this. Kind of hold space for you. Big energy. They have enough room to do it within themselves. And they see this, they see this from you, 
this passionate like red stop sign. Instead, they see this magnetic pull of Aries. And like I said, Aries salesman, talker, has this magnetic like draw. They are drawn in by this. This person is on your path. But even then, you're going to be holding back because there's a level of distrust here. You've gone through this cycle with somebody else. I feel like it's an outside energy of someone else. But this person coming in is going to be very patient. But you're just still going to withhold from them. You're just going to hold back. Four of Pentacles is that hoarding card. This is not telling everything. But you see how this lines up? This is a whole new world opening up for you whole new world this presence right here this energy completely different this is the type of person that and I know because I am Sagittarius and I can do this that will see this the passionate flipping out and not doing this like I'm not even having this not talking to you and they see this and they're gonna go uh-huh I'm listening my late husband used to, um, when we get in an argument, and I would say, why am I even talking to you? And, and start screaming on the phone. He would say, right, woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, did we? That's how you used to handle it. This is that energy. And he was an Aries. This is that energy. This is how they're going to see that reaction from you. They're going to be like, right, woke up on the wrong side of the bed, did we? That's their reaction. So they're going to be very patient and just kind of go, I'll give them a minute. And this opens up, even though you're holding back and not telling them everything, you're withholding from them and not giving them like as much as you've given to other people. It's going to open this whole other world to you. The King of Swords too is that defensive, not even defensive energy, but it's energy of cutting people out. Now, I feel like this is your energy, but it's cutting out this old cycle here. But don't cut out this new person because this new person is very patient. Like I said, going to give you a minute. And if they're willing to say, right, right, woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Um, that at least deserves follow-up conversation. It does. Because if they're listening to this, like, very defensive thing that's going on because of other things happening, and they're taking this red stop sign, and they're just kind of holding space and going, okay, did you want to talk about it? If they deserve continuing conversation. That, that's all I'm saying. Like, listen to them for a minute. But that's going to be their reaction when you're very passionate and just like I don't want to hear it I'm not in the mood for it that type of thing they're going to take it in and just kind of go I'll give you a minute so give them a minute and hear them out all right so for the collective sign of Pisces this is your new moon read in your sign um if you're interested in the extended links down below love and light